So hey guys, welcome to, back to my YouTube channel. This is Mining Rules. We have been um, we have done the tutorials of graphic designing. We have done um, three parts. Today is the uh, fourth part. So let's get ready. So guys, today I have uh, created um, various types of um, squares and multiple colors just to let you know. Um, about the um, tools we will be using today so let's get started as um, on the last tutorial we had completed all these tools today we will be completing some more tools let's get started now today we will be um, using tool rotate tool Rotate tool and reflect to rotate tool and reflect these are basically same there is no much uh, difference um, that just rotates or reflects the object from one point to another point like this if you want to reflect like this or same So this is the function of the reflect tool and rotate tool. Now after that we have a scale tool and shear tool and reshape tool. These tools basically change the perspective of the object or any shape like for example now this is a square. Shaping it like this. All this like it's reshaping it. Like this. All right. Um, after that, we have a shear tool. Shear tool. Uh, Basically, these tools are used for the perspectives and all. Nothing, um, um, it is no size. Um, by this, we can reshape the tool. Alright. Tool, blown, scallop, crystallize, wrinkle. Now, these tools basically change the anchor points just as shown like this. Um, I'm going to show you. Like, if I change, if you change.
I'm just changing its color um, just to make you more understandable. Basically, some of these are used for um, on the illustration just to create spikes on the ears or uh, something like that, or free fall shapes to create um, <coughs> oil painting or anything like that. have free form tool. This tool helps um, just work like the reflect and rotate tool. It just rotates or reflects anything like this. Nothing much. And by the perspective you can create the same its perspective like this. Puppet tool. Puppet tool helps you rotate the same. You can add anywhere anchor point and you can rotate from there. Nothing else. Now uh, we have uh, shape builder. Uh, I'm not um, clarifying this tool right now. I will be clear uh, clarifying after some, uh, some time uh, on the next session. But uh, I will be telling you about the mesh tool. Mesh tool is very necessary tool. Um, this helps to add anchor points anywhere you want to add and put a color on it just I will show you like this uh, as I will. like this. This helps to Made a gradient type color or any. Um, basically, these are selected with the direct tool. Um, as I told you, earlier that direct tool is. Selected for the anchor points separately. One thing I want to tell you you need to um, check the color wheel.com and you need to learn about the colors which are very necessary to learn because you will know which color is used for which purpose so I will be mentioning the um, website the link on my 
description so do check that out all right i hope you had me understood today's tool, uh, tutorial and the uh, tools which we have um, learned today i hope if you have any issues or any queries do let me know in the comment section i will help you out and give a detailed video on that tool if you have any issues do like subscribe my channel and support and share as much as you can till that take care goodbye